Hello, everyone. We are so thankful to be speaking to all of the supporters of Hope for New York. We wish we could be there with you in person, but we're honored to celebrate 30 years of Hope for New York together. 30 years ago, Redeemer Presbyterian Church formed a mercy and justice ministry to serve our city's vulnerable communities. And do you remember how that happened? Um, refresh my memory. Well, I think it was at our very first congregational meeting that Marlene Hensley stood up. Yeah. She had gotten here a couple of weeks actually before no, we I did mm -hmm. and said, we need to have a mercy ministry. And Yvonne Dodd took that and ran with it. And there we were. Yes. And I also think um, it was our prayer meetings in which we were constantly asking God to help us as a Christian community serve the poor and the marginalized uh, that this arose. But eventually, yes, Hope for New York was begun. Uh, to serve the poor and the marginalized and to support affiliate partners with tangible resources. Hope for New York was founded with one staff member Yvonne. and three affiliates. We began by encouraging church congregants to volunteer with these affiliates. And as Hope for New York expanded, uh, they expanded not only new affiliates and new churches uh, involved, but we also began to provide financial support, leadership training, and new ways to collaborate. When Tim and I first moved to New York City, homelessness, food insecurity, mental health, mm -hmm. violence, and racial tension were already critical issues. Our city's changed a lot and been through notable crises, including the pandemic, which has only increased the severity of these problems. But hope has also been increasing these yeah. 30 years as Hope for New York continues to work with affiliates to address needs such as women who are being trafficked, children who need tutoring and mentoring, Mercy for the unhoused, especially in the cruel winter months. In this way, those in need in our city can experience spiritual, social, and economic flourishing by seeing Christ's love demonstrated. Mm -hmm. We believe in the work of Hope for New York and the commitment of supporters like you to serve neighbors in need. Without Hope for New York, we believe our city would be a much darker place. Absolutely. Kathy and I are both thankful that you choose to support Hope for New York. One main reason both Kathy and I love Hope for New York is it doesn't reinvent the wheel, but finds strong gospel-based ministries already functioning and provides them with the volunteers and resources they sorely need to function over time. And our main hope for the future of Hope for New York is that it continues growing to serve mm -hmm. not just the needs of New Yorkers, but as a model for other churches who wish to follow Jesus' command to be a neighbor to anyone who needs mercy. So... On behalf of Kathy and myself, we encourage you to keep loving our neighbors in need and to keep supporting Hope for New York so its faithful work continues beyond the next 30 years. Thanks for listening.